Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. It's your girl Ebony Nicole. I sounded really loud. So you guys, I have another collab here with Savi Land. I have their new Diamond Poly Gel um, here in this box. Uh, they sent me just the one with the, uh, just the poly gel inside. I didn't need the tools necessarily, but if you are a beginner and you have no tools, I would suggest that you do get the kit with the tools just so that you have something, you know, something to start out with, especially if you don't have any tools, you need something to help you out. Can't just apply it to your nails, right? <laughs> Period. So here, um, as every kit comes with a little manual um, how-to kit, and you know, it's just showing all of their products as well in this little pamphlet. Here is the Ocean Eyes Poly Gel, the Party Queen, and the diamond gold i really like the diamond gold but i ended up using the ocean eyes um all of these are very pretty so basically with this whole kit you don't have to mix poly gel and glitter what like you know we do like to get a little creative the girls do like to get a little creative you know mix a little poly gel with a little glitter but you don't have to with sabi land uh this kit from sabi land so here i went ahead and i um clean my nails off with alcohol to get rid of any oil then I'm going to go ahead and buff out the top of my nails shape them out you know get some get some rough action on them so that the poly gel will adhere to my nail you know the little prep little prep my next nail video I will include a full prep um because as you all know I am very beginner in this and I want to make sure that if anybody watches my videos that are new to poly gel you know how to do it and what you should have so my next video will definitely have my next nail video will have um a lot of prep in it so that you all know so now once i have uh buffed out my nails filed them shaped them everything like that i'm going to go ahead and apply the base coat and i will cure that in my uv light for 60 seconds um yeah it's good to make sure that you follow all the steps so that the nails actually stay um well, before the, well, yeah, like I said in the next video, so this isn't really, if you want them to stay, stay, you need to use primer and dehydrator, which I will show that in my next video. Um, cause I think I might do both hands next video to like actually have them to stay on. Um, I don't know. I have to do them really short cause I type a lot at work. So I need them short. So here I'm just going to take my full cover tips. I will have a link in the description for the link, the nails that I do get, um, from Amazon. Amazon is my friend, honey. I can get my poly gel off Amazon and I can get all my other nail supplies off Amazon too. Sweetie, uh, I'm here for it. So basically I'm using that Femi Beauty's uh, nail method, you know, the dual form method without taking off the nail or without using a, um, a dual form. Basically you apply the poly gel inside of the full cover tip, um, spread it out like you would a dual, like in a dual form, apply it to your nail, cure it, and that's it. You don't pop it off and you're good to go you really don't even have to file them after the fact if you just use the poly gel it's like nothing really has to be done to them after the fact um which is so amazing so i took the uh uv light and i uh my led uv light and i pulled it off of the um, base and i just held it over my finger because it was easier that way so here i'm just going to do some and i'm gonna talk to y'all i'm gonna talk to y'all i'm gonna talk to y'all so yeah, same thing. Uh, with this one, I was trying to do like a, um, what's it called? Like a French tip type of look, but that didn't end up coming out right. The next, maybe not the next set, maybe the next set. I don't know if I'm gonna do watercolor or marbly watercolor look the next nail set, but um, I wanna try to like nail doing like a French tip design. So the next nail set I might include that might be my whole purpose of the video, doing like a French tip design, or like at least French tip on like one nail or something like that. We'll see, we'll see. What do y'all, what do y'all think? Should I do French tip for the next design? What do y'all think? Let me know. So we're out of focus here, but I do apologize. Um, so basically with that nail right there, I put, uh, did I put base coat or top coat? I believe I put top coat inside the nail and I put my little flame sticker in. And then once I put it in position of where I wanted it, I cured it under the light for 60 seconds just so that the nail, the flame would stay there. And then I put my poly gel in. Y'all, I know I'm really out of focus I'm in this video. I do apologize, but you all can grasp the concept. Like, you get it. Y'all are here with me. You understand. 
Okay. So, yep, just going to encapsulate that flame with some poly drill. And like I said, I did use the uh, Ocean Eyes poly gel. I really love it, y'all. Not having to mix the poly gel is such a plus. Like, and I mean, if you do want, you know, like an additional, like, well, add a little more pizzazz to the poly gel, which you really don't have to, you can always add more like glitter of your own choice if you do have some glitter. But I mean, really, there's nothing else to it. Like, it's so simple, so easy. I love it. Savvy Link, shout out to y'all because this right here helps a sister out okay so here i'm just gonna go under on the underneath of the nail to smooth out the poly gel so that it's not bulky back there because i don't have a drill bit like this is really beginner friendly because i'm i don't know if i'm going to invest in a drill bit yet or not um that would probably more so help me like doing the underneath of the nails but if you just take your time and just really smooth it out underneath you'll be fine maybe do like a little flash here for like five seconds so that it stays in place and then like smooth out the back oh also in the next video i have some nail clips that are coming to hold down like when you do dual forms i might try dual forms again i don't know but um they are to hold the nail in place when you do um dual forms will hold the dual form in place when you cure it so i think those will really be beneficial to me so i'll be showing you guys those in the next video they're currently en route um again i bought them off amazon um in my next video like i said i will showcase all of that so then i'll have the link for that in the video um i think those would be very very beneficial too so for the nails um i just took my white a white uh gel polish here and applied it like in a tip type of design because I'm going to do some watercolor marble nails. Y'all, these nails came out looking so nice. I am in love, okay? In love. So here I'm just taking my Sharpies. And I'm going to do, you know, a little freehand color action. Get them in place. Get it popping and locking. I didn't know if I wanted pink on those nails or not. But anyway, you know, just get real creative with it. Now, some of the nails, I did have to go back and add more um, Sharpie colors to them because some of them are mixed together. And, you know, this is where your mixing of the colors come in play because I think one of my nails kind of made like a greenish brownish color. And I was like, oh, no, boo-boo, that is not cute at all, okay? So, yeah, get into it. We're going to speed it up, speed it up, speed it up. So, you take your brush. Um, and you take your alcohol and you just start dibbling, dabbling on the nail, honey, mixing and matching and strolling around. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's basically all you do here. And, you know, you can kind of, um, I, what was I going to say? Yeah, I was going to say you can combine. But, yeah, you can combine the colors. So, like, once you apply the colors and you don't like it or you want to add more of certain color, you definitely can go ahead and um, once you apply the alcohol, I would say maybe go to the next nail and like let the nail that you want to add more color to dry a little bit. And then you can go in with your Sharpie and add more color in your, um, the areas that you desire. I really love this method because it gives you, it's, it's, I can mix the gel polish, but this way it makes it so much easier. Like... It's just easier and it's a little it's like fun for me like i feel like i'm painting like this nail i didn't like the way the color came out let me look at it yeah no i changed it up i put more pink and blue into it so ready set pow these are the bad boys after they have been you know colored up and put the top coat on it looking real presentable real nice Again, thank you to Savvy Land for sending me over their Diamond Poly Gel Kit. I really love it. You guys have to get it. The link will be down in the description. Make sure you check it out. And I also said for my beginners, you can also get the kits with the um, tools in it. It's like a $3 difference between just the regular Poly Gel Kit and then the ones with the tools. So I suggest you go ahead and get it. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video. And bye-bye.